Yeah, so pretty much this is the one. Um, I'm here now on the, on the volume, yeah, the settings. And I'm on zero because I'm indoors and I don't want to hear like uh, squeezy fishy noises or anything like that. And I'm gonna go on um, on the on the settings here, like T1 for me, like obviously is gonna be like the iron and so on. So because of that, I don't want to hear it. It doesn't matter which one, I'm on part two right now, but it doesn't quite matter for me at this point. It's just like to show like the settings. Um, the T2, right, it's the one that I said, uh, it's, um, it's up to 10. So where you have the Romans and so on. So you can adjust, uh, adjust that uh, accordingly. Like most of the time, maybe I'll put it like 10, right? So I want to be here. I want to, I want to like, like the, 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 the pitch to be there, um, to hear it. But in the same time, I'm not quite interesting in it. I'll be honest, unless I'm on a Roman site or so. And the T3 is the one that I said, like it's gold, right? So it's 11, 12 and 13 on the VDI. And obviously like I'm interesting in this, um, the volume has to be like top notch. Uh, uh, the fourth one, it's um, is the one with uh, with uh, coins. So again, like highest volume, and the fifth one, it's most likely it's gonna be like iron or so. So I'm going down a little bit with with it. Just like I said, maybe be there, but I'm not quite uh, quite interesting in um, in it. And these are the settings for uh, for the volume, right? And then if I go further, that's the trash. And this is the, the target tone with the pitches, right? So these are the pitches that I have for iron and so on, low. I don't want to hear it. Uh, obviously it's going to give me like a, like a low, low, very, very low pitch. It's right there. I don't want to hear it uh, that much. I don't want to pop out. Uh, on T2, which is actually like I said, Romans, I want um, I want it like to, to make me aware of it, but I don't want like the, 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 the tone to pop out more than let's say coins or so. So I'll leave it on 10. Third is the gold. So make me aware of it. Fourth is the coins, the highest pitch. That's where if I hear this pitch, man, this pitch will give me like something good, right? That's where the goodies are. So the highest pitch, and then on 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 the T5, uh, on the on the pitch that I told you like you might actually get a lot of iron. I will lower it down a little bit. I'll put it like ten or so. I'm not interesting in it, right? And then you have the uh, accept reject, which actually is the one that um, um, it's a tone break that uh, allows you to adjust the, the range of different targets, right? So for example, like um, ferrous targets will be like in low numbers, like uh, good conductive targets will be like in highest numbers. So pretty much that's that's where I, I'm, I'm moving like the, the target range. So I say like, like uh, iron and so on will be like from minus two to five, right? Um, from my point of view, since the six might actually hit a, hit a, a, a hammy, uh, then I have from from six to ten. It's just like I said, um, Romans and so on. So I want to be aware of that. The third one is the one that pops me like the gold out, eleven, thirteen. The fourth one it's where the goodies are, hammies and so on. So it's from 14 to up to 29, uh, silver coins and so on. And uh, the fifth one, it's the rest from 29 to 40. And like I said, that's, um, that's actually most cases iron. So I'm not interesting that much in, um, in, in that one. Uh, and that's how I, uh, I make it like a difference between I separate the targets. First target, second target, third target, fourth target, and fifth target. So first target, it's up to five. Second target, it's six to 10. Third target, it's 11 to 
13, fourth target, it's uh, it's 14 to 29. And uh, the fifth target, obviously, is going to be from 29 and up, which is 30 to 40, right? Uh, so pretty much that's how I do my, my settings. I will have the, the, the tone break, which separates me the target. I will have the target pitch, right? So how 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 the pitch will will be according to this target to the tone break, right? So I'm interested in mostly in coins. That will be my my third uh, my fourth uh, uh, tone break target. So that's with the highest pitch that I have, right? So the pitch will be like 25. I'm interested in the gold, which on on my my tone break. It's number three, all right, right here, which is like 11 to 13. So that will have like a high pitch as well. Then I'm interesting in, uh, in the second, in the second tone break, which might give me uh, Romans or so, but because it's not so common or depending on the, on the, on the field as well. In this case, I lower it down to to ten, right? Uh, so the, the the pitch the pitch will not be that uh, will not make me aware of it like specially, right? So I'm working. What else I I could tell you guys is that I'm working on um, on. Uh, on uh, field two, uh, the difference between like usually between part one, part two, field one, field two, field two goes more into like um, higher frequencies, so picks up more info that the higher frequencies is, is is giving you, and when it does that, it's more sensitive to high conductives, right? So when when it's more sen sensitive to high conductives, that means you might hit um silver or gold easier you might lose a little bit a little bit in depth but you might hit actually silver and uh, and gold um, and gold easier so that's 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 very important uh, for me and that's why i kind of go all the time i all the time go with uh, with old metal as well right so for me old metal it's it's uh, it's it's there it's there all the time um, uh, gives me a little bit more of depth, like two inches, sometimes even more. So yeah, for me, for me, that uh, that's very, very important. On recovery speed, I most of the time I go with four. Why? Because it's a huge difference between four and six. Let's say I would love six, but in the same time, it's a huge difference between four and six when it comes to depth. So I want the, as much depth as I want as I can get. I'm sorry. So because of that, I'm going with with uh, with recovery speed on four and hour and bias zero most of the time. <laughs> I'm not putting those because, like I said, I want depth. I want depth. And when I'm swinging, I'm getting like two seconds in between, right? Uh, sometimes I even when I'm getting I'm I'm getting ready um, to go on the field. I'm concentrating myself and I'm, I'm I'm literally going like one two, one two, one two, for for a little bit for like thirty seconds or so. So you know I'm getting used to it, so it becomes like a habit. And uh, yeah, I'm doing that. And and the reason being, I'm trying to accommodate like the the swing with the recovery speed that I choose. Right? If I will have six, I could go a little bit faster. Right? But because I'm choosing like four, yeah, it will slow me down a little bit. But in the same time, it will give me like a lot of depth. And there were a lot of times where I will go behind guys and so on. And I will pull out something because I'm not rushing. I'm not going. It's not a race, right? Yeah. For me, it's more important. Like, take your time and try to find out what, what, what is there. So I'm going low. One, two. One to one to one recovery speed four, and let's say there is a coin there. When you go like, boom, right, the pitch is up, and stop. Uh, usually take a step back, 
and uh, try to pinpoint that uh, that target. Uh, you pinpointed that target, change the angle, right? So you're like this. Now you have a certain number. Or so change the angle, right? So change the angle like 90 degrees first of all on the same same spot and see if um, if the target is solid, meaning that it's the same, right? It's not jumping, it's not on nothing. It's the same actually, same number, same pitch. Uh, if you have those, that's a good target. No matter what, just dig it, right? <laughs> uh, to, to, to give you an example, I, I was um, uh, on the beach and I was with three friends of mine and uh, one had a Garrett, the other one um, had a um, Cruiser, uh, the, the two, I think. And um, he was there when when I pulled out one of the silver coins. It was crazy because I had like two iron roads, like one here, coin here, and another one here, like iron road. And they were big. I mean, like literally they were big. They were like 10 inches, maybe 12 inches, like huge. I couldn't believe it. And um, I'm digging, I'm digging, and I'm pulling one of the one of the roads. And I'm like, you know this is bad so I'm throwing that one and I'm going with the with the pinpointer and boom second target well awesome might be something actually there you know so I'm putting the second row now which was iron as well like huge iron as well and I'm like Whoosh. so I'm throwing it right and one of the guys that one of was like with the uh, with the macro cruiser and he starts like make, making fun of me and so on but at the same time, I don't know why, because you should be like, you have to, I'm like, you have to check the, the, the holes all the time. So I go again, like with the, with the pinpointer, and guess what? Here it was, like a silver coin, right? In between those two huge ropes. I'm like, what the? I start like screaming and all that. I couldn't believe it. I mean, like, nah, there was no, no, no other like machine would, would do that. I don't know how this, like, like the, the 800 did it. I was, I'm still surprised about it and still very excited about it because that tells me like a lot about um, about this machine. I mean, like you could hear, because I'm going in all metal and no, no iron bias, you can hear those metals, right? I could hear like the metal in the background, but because of the settings, that, that, that coin, because I don't care even if it's silver or copper or zinc or so, that coin, that pitch was was loud, that, that pitch told me that I'm here, right? So I can hear the the, the 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 iron there. I can hear it very well, actually, like popping up, popping up, right? But in the same time, that good target that was there, the the Nox hit it. So for me, that was amazing. I mean, like really, really amazing. And I'm still excited about it. And I think like I'll be excited about it like forever. It was amazing. It was amazing, amazing, amazing find for, from, from my point of view. And it was um, one, shing, one shilling George, right? So, um, silver coin. So, for me, that was like, that was amazing. Uh, a very, very uh, awesome experience uh, understanding the machine. And in the same time, like, I, I had the same thing when it came to, um, uh, to a coin um, that was in between rocks. So, you have the rocks and it was in between the rocks, right? And the same thing, the depth was amazing, it was like about like 12 inches, maybe 13, maybe even more. And it was like covered with sand and so on, and wet sand. Uh, not black sand, just wet sand. So I went over it, really, really awesome, awesome, awesome signal actually. Fuzzy at the beginning, a little bit fuzzy in the beginning, but once I, I, I took the first scoop, it was like pff, proper, proper, proper one. And I digged it and there it is a coin uh, an awesome coin actually and that's that's what i love about uh, equinox um, and the reason i i decided to pull uh, to put this video up uh, actually with the with the settings it's because a lot of people uh, kind of i don't know they don't understand they don't take time actually to to understand the settings and to understand the machine so they kind of messed it up <laughs> right a lot of them they, they told even they, some of them they even told me like you know like oh it's not a good machine oh it's not this it's not that well uh, i'm gonna sell it <laughs> i don't want to say here whatever but i was like dude come on it's, it's not working like that 
uh, try to understand the machine and play with the settings and so on and you will you will get the best out of it it's a very good machine not just a good machine and the depth of the nox it's awesome awesome i mean i we were doing um, um air test an air test with um, different coins from silver copper to whatever and some artifacts as well lead bullets uh, shell cases and so on and uh, this guy that had uh, the cruiser the two he was excited 8 inches 10 inches you know until my my little one came in and pff, 13 14 16 17 even 18 inches i hate 18 inches on some some on a few coins i was like Phew, okay it's an air test let's understand that but 18 inches you can beat that I'm like, you know, and everybody knows get the depth learn the machine get the depth learn the machine because if you get the depth you get the goodies and then you learn the targets um, and what to dig or not to dig so uh, soon i will put like another another few videos um, well, this year i was in holland um, uh, detecting um, um, was a um, an awesome awesome experience there for a weekend well detect and um, I will put uh, one with the findings that I had um, on the beach like 70 70 coins with 17 silvers as well uh, it's uh, my record at this point <laughs> and um, yeah um, I will I will keep you guys in the loop and um, definitely um, in the, the, the few uh, next weeks I will get uh, the 6 inch coil which um, definitely that should be a great great help if you're in uh, trashy areas right if the field is busy um, again like it's gets you slower like a lot but in the same time um, you can you can hit actually good targets and that should be good as well when it comes to on, on the Roman sites so until then i hope you actually understood something <laughs> out of whatever i said here i will um i will um, uh, write down uh, as well the um, the settings and a few words on the side a few comments on the side uh, so people can actually have a proper understanding on it uh, peace out and um happy digging <laughs>